Hey guys, welcome back to my video. So my name is Sharon Rao and I am currently a first year medical student here at the University of Nottingham. Um, I also work as a student vlogger at the Careers and Employability Service here in Nottingham um, in the UK. So today's video I want to talk about what I did during my winter placement um, during my first year in my first semester of university. So for my winter break, I applied for an observership or a preceptorship at my hospital. Um, this was my local hospital in Calgary in Canada. Um, this was at the Peter Lougheed Centre. So during my observership, I split up my time between emergency medicine and family medicine and critical care medicine and the ICU. ICU was very different from family medicine in that uh, during that time period I essentially saw patients who were more um, more so there for a long-term period of care so these were patients who were under mechanical ventilation Family medicine um, and emergency medicine was entirely different. It was more acute and more um, short-term care that was going on. A lot of the patients who I saw were in and out in a span of maybe a few days or a few hours or even a week. So during the time that I spent in family medicine, I got a chance to actually do a lot of patient examinations. So for example, I got to do chest examinations, cardiovascular exams, um, respiratory exams, and I got a chance to listen in to breathing sounds, um, taking pulses, listening to chest murmurs. My day consisted of um, shadowing the attending uh, physician as well as the residents who were on rounds and kind of going through the patient's clinical data and understanding the kind of treatment that the patient was undergoing. So the main takeaways that I got from my shadowing experience was that um, it really gave me an opportunity to see everything that I was learning in my lectures, but this time in a clinical context. And it was really helpful going into this semester because that's exactly what we're doing and that's exactly what we're learning. Um, another reason why I found it really useful was because previously I think I was studying my lectures in a different way. Now when I study my lectures, I kind of envision my physician or my supervisor actually asking me, okay, what is the clinical significance of this um, can you explain it to me how we're seeing it in this patient so overall it was definitely a really great experience I would recommend it to anyone who has um, you know some time off during their break thank you guys so much for watching